that's dance number one. Let's go to dance number two. I'm sure you all recognize this song. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh. All right, you guys. So today I am going to do some juicing and I'm also going to make me some kale chips using my handy dandy dehydrator right here. And I talk about my juicer that we bought about three weeks ago. I talk about it a lot in my dumpster diving channel. So I wanted to show you guys right here. This is the juicer right here, the Nama juicer. I really do like this juicer. I like the ease of use. I like how I am able to walk away from this juicer and the juicer will still make juice while I'm gone. All you do is fill it up, you guys. And right here, as you can see, is the grinder and right there it would extract all the juices from whatever plants or fruit that I decide to put in here and it'll fill up and then all I have to do is release the valve right there and booyah the juice comes out but I will demonstrate it a little later but I just wanted to show you guys what we will be doing I will be doing some batch juicing today I'm excited about that I am now incorporating juice fast in my healthy living routine, you guys, because it is needed. You know, some days our bodies need to rest from eating so much. So instead of eating, hold on, son, instead of eating, Antoine and I try to uh, give our bodies a rest by just taking a day off and just simply drinking juice all day, natural juices. So right now, you guys, I have my kale for my kale chips. And I also have kale for juice. I have pineapples here. I also have some more kale over here, you guys, that I will be uh, juicing. I even have some green apples that I will be putting in here and some kiwi. Okay, so this should last us about a good mm, three days. So let me go ahead. I got my little helper right here. Hi, helper. Sam, Sam, are you ready to help mommy juice? Yes, and he loves, loves, loves the juice, you guys. So let's get started. Yeah. All right, now put the, give me that, give me that. Here, here put the can, here. I'm going to take off this one. Okay, part. take off that one. Then put it all right here for me, okay? Right. You do that, I'm going to go ahead and get the apples out of the refrigerator. I got this. Okay, you got this. Okay, good job. No, put the kale in the sink. I just see. Go ahead and put the kale in the sink. I did it. The apples, thank you. taste it now this part guys it's the only thing that bothers me about juice and i hate that we're not getting this good old fiber right here i'm not sure what else to do with this pulp if you guys have any idea or suggestions on what to do with you know the pulp that we lose the good fiber that we lose when we're juicing please leave it down in the comment section this is the only thing that i really don't care for when it comes to juicing all of this good old green juice. Go ahead, open it up. Woo! Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. It was working even while we were away. Yeah. All right, let's make more. Some more greens. Some more greens. I put the other stuff in last. I want to get all those good greens. All those good greens. All the good greens. Good greens. One more time. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. wait. Okay. You got it? Alright, yep, we got it. Turn it on. Me? Yep, go. Good job. Alright. So yummy. So yummy. Cut up the apple, green apples. Yeah. And we're gonna put that in there as well, okay? Yeah. 
You can put the apples inside the juicer, okay? But I don't want you around for this part. Step back. All right. Stop. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mom, can I try? Good job. That's apples. That's yummy. You can eat that. Go ahead, taste it. Bite it. I don't like it. You don't like it? Okay. <laughs> All right, you want to open it now? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and open it. Go. Yeah. Look at all that good old apple juice. Yeah. Yeah. This is all the juice right here. We filled up an entire pitcher, you guys. And I still have more juice over there, some more pear juice. How many of you guys remember me finding these bottles right here? They are so, so convenient, you guys. I love them because we can take these out and about with us, put them in our Ma bags, and we are good to go with a nice container yeah. of juice, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and fill up yeah. these containers and then put them in the refrigerator. I will drink mine in the morning because I like them to be very cold. Here we go. You wanna try it? I'm trying to do it. Okay, here. Mm. Pretty good? Yeah. Yeah? It's nice and healthy. Mmm. Okay, I'll give you a cup, okay? How did you get green juice everywhere? Oh, I did. Look, how did you get green juice everywhere? Because I just get green juice everywhere. Is it good, at least? Stop before you put more on your clothes. Stop. Is it good? Yeah. Okay, finish drinking the rest of it. Mmm. Mmm. Chef. So now for the next project of the day, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and make my kale chips. You guys, I love eating these kale chips when they're done because it keeps me from having to go to the store and buying regular fried potato chips. They are so good. They're so delicious. They're crunchy and they are the bomb.com. So pretty much all you need. Now me, I like to put cayenne pepper on mine because it gives me that hot kick that I like in hot chips. Then I have my apple cider vinegar, and then I like to use my nutritional yeast. Now, this one is the roasted garlic one, but you can always get the, the cheesy savory seasoning. Now, I like to put both of them because I like the, the roasted garlic flavor on mine, okay? All right, so the first thing you're going to do, oh, and I need some olive oil. Let me get the olive oil. Don't want to forget about this olive oil because if you try to make these uh, chips without the olive oil, it's going to be extremely dry and brittle and they will break immediately, okay? And it'll be nasty. You don't want that. So let's go ahead and pour the olive oil all over our chippy chips. Yes, baby. All right. And then you want to just massage these chips with the oil on it, okay? Put this oil all over. Yeah, baby. Put that oil all over my chippy chip. Put that oil all over my chippy chip. Put that, put that oil all over my chippy chip. Okay, now that we have our chippy chips all over our chippy chip, we're gonna put it in the oven for 350 degrees. Okay, we're gonna put it in the oven for 350 degrees. Okay, we're gonna put our Bragg's apple cider vinegar, honey. This right here is what's gonna give that those chips, that nice little kick. Oh, what a, oh, what a, oh, jibby, jibby. Then you take your nutritional yeast, honey, and you just give it a nice little shaggy shake. And then I want mine to be extra choice. Okay, so I'm putting a little bit more choice on it. Oh, yeah. All over my jibby, jibby. A little punch of that kayak. Don't put a lot of this, okay, because you'll be burning a whole in your mouth and then your bottom part, okay? Just a little bit, just to give it a little kick. That's all you need, that's all you need. And then you just put it all over your old jibby jibby. All 
All right, you guys, so this is how it should look, nice and saturated with that apple cider vinegar, the nutritional yeast, and whatever other seasonings you decide to put on it. It's a little wilted, as you can see right there. So I'm gonna take this, and I wanna put it all around my trays. Now you might have some that'll fall down in there, but it doesn't matter. It'll dry up, and you can just take it out later. As you line each tray up with Kale, you guys. I have about four trays, and I like to line them all up with the kale, okay? Like that. And then what I like to do is go back in with some nutritional yeast and the other seasonings, not the cayenne pepper because I don't want it to be too hot. All right, so hot that I can't even eat it. And then I go back with my nutritional yeast. I'm working with one hair in here, okay? So bear with you, girl. And then I like to go and sprinkle the nutritional yeast over the kale. All right, because I like for mass to be extra cheesy. All right, so that's tray number one. And here's tray number two. I'm gonna do the same exact thing with tray number two. Now you might have some getaways on the side. That's okay. All right, now. Go back in with train number two. Now you might go on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, even Pinterest, and you will find people doing it various ways. You would ultimately get the same results. Some good old delicious kale chips, okay? Sprinkle some more of that yeast. That good old yeast all over my kale chips body. Boom. All right, go back in with another tray. Bam. All right, so that's that. Look, as you can see, that is empty. This is completely full. We'll go ahead and put the lid on top of there. Boom. And then I like to have mine on the highest setting so it can be done by the time I wake up in the morning, okay? We'll go ahead and plug that up. As you can see here, it is on. And I will come back in the morning, you guys, and we will have ourselves some good old yummy kale chips. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, you guys. All right, so today is the next day, honey. Let's go ahead and try out these kale chips and this drink you guys i'm just curious to see how this combination will taste the pears the apple and the kale this is my first time doing this combination so again i'm just curious to see how this will taste and i also put some lime in there as well so here we go here goes nothing Gotta shake it up, y'all. Shake, shake, shake. Shake that green drink. Shake that green drink. Ow! Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Now shake that green drink. Now shake that green drink. That's pretty good. It's not super sweet. And you can definitely taste the earthiness from the kale, exactly what I want. Really good, it's nice, it's cold, it's refreshing. So I will be drinking this for breakfast. I'll try it. You wanna try it? Okay, hold on. <laughs> All right, here we go, ready? This doesn't have pineapple. All right, are you smiling at everybody? Look right here at that green dot right there. That's where you look, you see it? Yeah. Not right there, you look right here at the green dot. You see it? Yeah. Say hi. Hi. Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> All right, sweetheart. Here, here we go. Let's give it a taste. Go ahead. Uh oh. Is it ginger? Huh? Ginger. No, I didn't put any ginger. So he asked that I put ginger in. Usually I put ginger in my green drinks, but this time I didn't. So no, the answer to your question is no, I didn't. Do you like it without the ginger? Yes, you want more? Yeah. This is a good way, you guys, for him to get in his green veggies. 
because he doesn't really care for, uh, you don't really care, you know, too much to be eating them. So to do this and to make smoothies for him and Haley, great way for them to get their greens in. Yummy. Yeah. Now, guess what? You want more? Dang, go green. <laughs> I'm going to give you a cup. You want some in the cup? Yeah. Mm. All right, here you go. I like it a lot. You want a lot? Drink that first. He wants a lot. Oh. And, and then I can get some more. Once you're done with this, you can get some more. Okay. Hold it. I don't want you to drop it. Mmm. Pretty good, huh? Ready? One, two, three, go. That's good. All right, now let's taste these kale chips. You want to taste some kale chips? Yeah. Oh, it might be too hot for you. All right, so let's go ahead and try some kale I some chips. Kale. Hmm? I want some kale chips. Okay, hold on. I want some kale All right, chips here we go. too. Let's see. Ooh, the chippies. <laughs> Look at that. Yummy. You see? They are nice and dry and crunchy. You see the extra layer of nutritional yeast that I put on top? You can see. Right here. I'm sorry, son. You can see that. Ooh. Wanna try it? Wait, let me taste it first to make sure it's not too hot. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Pretty good. That's not hot at all. Let me try. Oh, you want to try? Yeah. All right. Hold up. Let me let Sammy taste it. Oh. How is it? Good. Pretty good. Is it hot? No. No. Yeah. Perfect, you guys. So it's okay. A little kick. Yeah. Just a little kick. All right, you guys. So the perfect treat, the perfect snack for anybody that's looking for a healthier yeah. alternative to chips. Chips. Kale chips is always okay. the way to go. If you don't want to make these, you guys, you can always go to Whole Foods. They sell them in a container for about eight bucks. I mean, they are good. They're okay. Yeah. You know, it's a great substitute for homemade. So this is how they look close up. Let me see if I can. There you go. There you go. See that? Yeah, cheers. Want, want to do cheer? He likes to do cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Another way for me to get Haley and Sam to eat their greens mm -hmm. as well. Make it in, making the greens into a chip always does the trick. Mm -hmm. Mm. So good. If you decide to make these... Leave it down in the comment section. Let me know how you like them, okay? Yeah. And if you put different seasonings on yours, again, and you can let me know. Them. Put it right here. Remember, put it right here by the green button. The green dot. You see it? And but they can try one. Okay, you gonna let them try it? Okay, let them try it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.